This video is brought to you by Brilliant. Last month, I did an experimental video where I rated and shared your smartphone home screen setups. This is a phone and you don't have the phone app in the dock yet. You have your toothbrush app or B in the dock. It turns out you all loved it and in fact many of you jumped at the chance to show off your setups, eagerly submitting them for the next episode. Oh my god, look at all those submissions. Well, guess what? This is the next episode. So before we jump into the depths of your creative ideas and discover some of the apps you use, remember that you can use the participation link in the description below to submit your setup for the third installment. Warming up with Samuel's iPhone home screen setup who has a very traditional setup with three home screens. I dig the wallpaper, but what I'm most interested in here are some of the apps which I'm not familiar with, especially those on the last screen. A new app that I found here is the device monitor which provides widgets and reporting information about the phone itself. It basically gives an overview information about the iPhone like RAM usage, storage, network and CPU. There is a test kit available which will allow for testing various features of the devices like sensors, connectors and more, something that is perhaps useful for people who sell or repair iPhones. But what I'm particularly interested in this app for are the plethora of cool widgets it provides, which I'm not sure why Samuel is not showcasing and taking full advantage of. Another cool app worth peeking at is the Decibel X, which is a frequency spectrum analyzer turning the iPhone into a professional sound level meter. What I love here is the dynamic island integration, which gives you live data of your surroundings. Perhaps if you are a car reviewer, you can use that app to measure the cabin's insulation. The app combined with the Tuner Light app that Samuel has gives me an impression that Samuel is a musician who needs some widgets installed on his setup. Thanks for your submission Samuel. Next up we have Lucian who rocks a single home screen and clearly has spent deliberate time achieving this clean looks. Like I mentioned in the last video, he has cleared up and removed the Siri Spotlight search menu above the dock and don't be fooled by the empty space below his Ouija widget. These are some blank icons to simulate this rounded position of the folders. The Ouija widget by the way is great as it not only provides valuable information but also serves as a quick action panel to open his apps like Drive, Files, Google Maps and more, something I integrated myself in the most frequently bought widget at a glance. Perhaps if you're watching this, you can tell me what the Apple icon on the top right represents or acts for as I'm very curious. Judging by the icon next to the clock up left, you're taking full advantage of focus mode. So kudos to that and thanks for your submission. By the way, if you end up enjoying this video, subscribe because why not? Next up, we have a submission that takes full advantage of lock screen widgets and shortcuts. Just by looking at the home screen, I can spend quite some time examining quick call shortcuts, quick apps access, and even to-do integrations below the clock. If you're watching this, please share in the comments which app you use for the lock screen widgets below the player. Jumping inside the widgets page, I see that you are indeed a master of widgets, but what piques most of my interest is the little rocket icon in the dynamic island. What is it for? A cool app worth exploring on the main home screen is the Balance app, which is a meditation and sleep program app, which according to their own advertising, adapts to you. Now, I'll have to test for that to confirm. Everlog is a journaling app which has some very nice reviews in the App Store and I assume you are in full control of your mind and body considering the meditation, all the informative widgets and journaling. Super grateful for your submission and happy to have learned something new. Next up we have a submission from Rich who keeps things nice and clean rocking my weather view widget. All I can say is I appreciate your support Rich and by the way I'll try to link all the widgets and apps that I talk about in the description chronologically below. So take a peek if you want. Back to my own setup for a moment, I had a lot of interest in my mini drawer widget which I featured in my last video. Although I showed a step-by-step -step guide on how to create one yourself in my newsletter which I'll link below, I had plenty of people who were too busy to tinker with Widgie asking me to package it in a product. So alongside the mini drawer which I'll link in the description, I'm also introducing a new widget pack which I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Next, we have a very interesting setup which at a glance begs the question, do you work for the weather channel? All jokes aside, this large widget is packed with weather information and a full calendar which despite being on the small side is very well balanced. Not sure if you built it yourself but 
Bravo. Everything else is blacked out and faded to just the right amount of grey to hide the actual dock. There are in total 8 apps which use shortcuts to showcase those outlined custom icons which is dope and the most dynamic part is a small widget which has plenty of widgets inside. I can appreciate the clear space app integration clearing up all the widgets on demand but I can't stop thinking why you're using low power mode when your phone is at a full capacity. You must be a very heavy user who takes the absolute maximum of your battery. Either way, thanks for your submission. Talking about cool apps, recently I've been enjoying the intro to language models, part of the How LLMs Work course on Brilliant. This course takes a peek under the hood of large language models to understand how they work, providing hands-on with real language models as you explore how they build vocabulary, choose their next word and more. The course provides understanding of the importance of training data by comparing models trained on Taylor Swift's lyrics to models trained on a cookbook or big text terms and conditions. Brilliant's first principles approach helps you build understanding from the ground up where each lesson is filled with hands-on problem solving that lets you play with concepts not memorizing all content on brilliant is crafted by an award-winning team of teachers researchers and professionals from mit microsoft google and more learning a little every day is one of the most important things you can do for both personal and professional growth so try everything brilliant has to offer for free for a full 30 days by visiting brilliant.org forward slash this is e or clicking on the first link in the description you also get 20 percent off an annual premium subscription Okay, so let's just take it up a notch and see what we have here. We have this iPhone home screen setup, which I can appreciate you spend the time to integrate into a mock-up. It looks very nice. I see that you're using custom icons with some very interesting pink slash purple outlines. But most of all, I have to say that I really appreciate using the X dash widget. Lovely. Let's move on to the next one. Ooh, that is a very interesting pixelated wallpaper of a rainbow and you have four home screens which is a lot for my taste now the first thing that stands out to me here and i really don't understand how this works is the fact that you don't have the phone app in the dock this is a phone and you don't have the phone app in the dock yet you have your toothbrush app or b in the dock which must be very important to you all jokes aside I like the setup. It's useful. You're taking full advantage of the widgets. Okay, so we have a very clean setup by Nick, apparently, because it says Welcome Nick, which is a widget widget and eight custom icons which are made to look like a default icons, yet they're very, you know, slightly different and a lot more unique looking. The overall vibe of this setup is very clean. And I see that you have an empty space there, which probably is clear spaces and most likely you have something hidden in there. So you can tell me in the comment what it is and I'd love to hear it, uh, how you utilize you know, this space on the left side. But other than that, very clean, I like it. Let's move on to, no, that's not an iPhone, that's an Android device. And pff, that is, that is clean. I can appreciate that. Now we have the screen time widget, sort of like a to-do, widget make a bed five five push-ups that should be 50 push-ups i like it let's move on i see custom icons all over the place and a widget which looks very clean fantastic outline moving on to yet another render which is beautiful this is very clean by the way again this is what custom icon pack is all about that in combination with the custom clock is amazing and the calendar up top beautiful i've always had a thing for desert wallpapers and this is just absolutely gorgeous i love it all righty then we have a very interesting setup that's placed on rocks step by step do not overthink gather some strength with yourself in order to do okay i guess these are motivational quotes by an app called minimal and then the rest of the icons look very much like canoopsie's icons if i'm not mistaken maybe it's uh his pack or not but overall i like it okay so we have a setup Ooh, this is nice this uses the original iphone icons from from the original iphone i need to do this myself this is this is just beautiful i love it up top there is a huge widget widget which gives you the date some weather information overall I dig this vibe a lot. I mean, I can't say anything about it. It's great. 
Next up is something ultra minimal and apparently you're someone who has a very sharp vision because I can barely read this on the iPad and if this is on my phone then your vision is actually 2020. However you should have kept the Siri search turned off because it ruins the whole aesthetics of this layout but aside from that I love it. Oh, these are all three medium sized widgets that are placed on top of each other that hold the icons on the right side. Let me know if I'm mistaken or if I'm right in the comments below. Moving on. <laughs> okay. So this is uh, this is very inspiring actually. Some clouds and custom icon packs and a large outlined widget which contrasts with the icons below. That is very well made. Congratulations on that. The actual icon pack is very coherent. It's great. I'm not sure if you made it yourself or you got it from somewhere. Okay. So we have a black and white with a splash of red setup. Mm, I wouldn't say I like it a lot, but mm, it's just, especially with this background, it I get lost, honestly. I mean, as long as it does the job for you, that's fine, but I'm honestly a little bit lost on how you navigate around it. And something that always drives me crazy. I mean, it looks great here, but if you scroll to the other page, the fact that the weather widget and the airplay uh, shortcut widget are not completely blacked out just ruins the whole vibe of the setup. And of course, the games with their colorful icons. If you like it, that's fine. Don't take this the wrong way. All good vibes here, just having fun. All right, so very dreamy setup here. Ooh, that is so unique, yet so 1998. I mean, I like it, it's original. It's different. I, I think I like it. I mean, definitely not my style, but there was a lot of effort put into this and I can appreciate it. Like every icon pops, <laughs> literally pops, but it's great. Okay, this is very promising. We have three lock screen widgets, battery information on the AirPods, some to-do information and weather. So far, so good. I love the wallpaper, by the way. Going inside, ah. You could have kept the wallpaper consistent, you know, similar wallpaper, but just different color inside. Because the style of the inside wallpaper is very different from what's on the lock screen. So this seems like one person's lock screen and then this is another person's, you know, home screen. I like the uh, large widget. Let's look at one more. Ooh, This reminds me of brown for some reason. Ugh. And then uh, you lost me on the second thing because the wallpaper doesn't match on the second lock screen. I mean, the widget of Apple Music is on top of the cool vibes of the wallpaper and the buttons underneath. Ah, I liked it so much at first, but then oh, I shouldn't look at this page here. Ooh, I see that you are rocking the weather view widget. I appreciate it. Thanks for your support. And that's actually very much like my setup from the last video, except for the mini drawer where you've removed the background. My lock screen from waking up to 9.30 a.m. And then my lock screen from 9.30 to 9.30 p.m. Okay, so you have different lock screens and home screens depending on what time it is. I can appreciate that. All right, you've spent all this time and effort to organize those home screens and lock screens and just write and give me information about them. So the brain shortcut promotes prompts me to ask something to ChatGPT and copies its response to my clipboard. Okay, that's cool. This lock screen wallpaper is always the same as the one during the day, all right? The home screen page is filled with widgets. Do not get distracted during those precious hours with the apps. I like that. So from 9.30 a.m. to 9.30 p.m., the lock screen wallpaper is daily with the photos I like, all right? Both ChatGPT icons on the home screen and brain shortcuts on the lock screen lead to a shortcut that prompts me to ask something to ChatGPT and copies it. Apparently you deal with ChatGPT a lot. Kudos for this, for the effort put in this submission. So we have, whoa, this is interesting. This is very unique. Four custom icons in the dock. And then I assume these are just two large widget widgets. One, actually one large widget widget and one medium one below it with a matching wallpaper, very funky. Uh, calendar information up top, weather information at the bottom, very clean. Ooh. I mean, I like orange, but this is uh... Oh, you're taking advantage of an action menu. That's awesome. So the daily and the studio, let's be productive today. Okay, 
very curious to find out what you use two of those menu options actually what they do let me know in the comments below because I'm very much into that but what it seems is that you have only one home screen which I can of course appreciate and then you have apps which are in orange and then the rest of the apps in the folders which are not in orange mm, not my thing but you know there is some sort of a balance especially with the orange in the widget up top so nice and then we have this which is a black background and just default apps and pretty much nothing else now i'm gonna ask you what is right about this setup what's one thing that this setup excels in no red bubbles everything is taken care of Ooh, this setup is inspired i think by some glass frosted glass images and i really like it okay so the widget itself changes or maybe just swiping between the widget because the rest of the stuff remained the same this is this weather app actually is very cool i'll try to put it in the description below so i guess this setup revolves around the actual large widget widget area so at first we have calendar information and you oh so you tap on the left side and you switch to weather oh this is cool is it something inside the widget itself or you just switch to another widget let me know in the comments i'm very interested in that and then you have of course calendar and some information about the battery life oh you have a music section as well okay so definitely if you can tell me more about how this widget works let me know in the description below i know i didn't get to everyone's submissions but i listened to your feedback last time and i tried to focus on the setups we can all learn something from if you want to participate in the next episode Use the participation form below and I'll try to widen the coverage in the next episode. Like and subscribe to the channel as well as my newsletter. And as always, it's been an absolute pleasure. This is E. Over and out.